Hello there, friends and fellow Vedsies. Welcome to a new episode of the vlog. You know, I've called this one Let's Play RuneScape. Uh, this is not really going to be a true Let's Play. Uh, there's going to be some uh, just little edits for time here. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite games ever. A big thanks to James for showing me how to work uh, OBS here. And, uh, well, just telling me about it, really. I figured it out. It's very, very intuitive. I love the little recursive thing going on with the display. And we'll get into RuneLite, which is an excellent client to run old school RuneScape. There are a couple different versions of RuneScape. You got old school, you got new school. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the mo more modern version of the game does exist, but we're playing on the old school 2007 version. Um, yeah, I'm here in East Ardoin. Um... And immediately, just look around. There's so many cool things to do. I've been playing this game since I was in, like, high school. Because, I don't know, it's always been so immersive to me. First of all, um, I know that the uh, screen record quality is just awful. But uh, that's just a settings thing. It's going to look better when I stream it. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you guys when uh, my RuneScape stream is going to happen. It's going to be a lot of fun. But just look at this. I've just walked down across town here. And now I'm at the zoo. I'm just visiting the zoo. There's a whole pen full of monkeys. There's camels. I'm just having a good time. You don't even have to be questing in this game. Just hang out at the zoo. You'll have a great time. Um, yeah. Uh, over here, just a giant castle. You walk over there. Wow, I bet you there's stories and quests galore in there. Well, there sure is. There's also a great view of the town. If I pan over this way. Oh, <clears throat> hard to get it with the remove roofs feature off. There we go. Beautiful view. Rune Light has an excellent draw distance here. But yeah, there's just so much to do everywhere you go. Here's a church. These have a function in the game um, to uh, replenish prayer points. Now, this is a Sarah Dominus church, and I really uh, I think I'm more aligned with Guthix myself. But hey, prayer points are prayer points. And we've just maxed those out. You can go get drunk at the pub, get ourselves a beer. Hey, Mr. Bartender. Would you like to buy a drink? Well, what do you serve? Beer. <laughs> well, then I'll have a beer then. Good choice, me. That'll be two coins. I literally forgot to bring money. I was going to show you how drunk you can get in this game, and I forgot to bring money. The heck? There'll be some... Is there a person I can kill? Maybe I'll kill a man. Just kill a random stranger for their coins. Is there anyone in here? Hello? Anyone I can murder? Hello? Definitely not going to murder you. Hello? Hmm, maybe in here. <laughs> Sometimes if you kill just the standard men, you'll get coins. I don't know why I'm going through all of this just to, you know, drink a virtual beer. Uh, a woman. Oh, that's much more violent and horrible. But hey, they're all pixels anyway. Uh, okay, act of brutality committed. Only bones. Didn't dro even drop any cash, so that was for nothing. I just murdered a person for no reason. Uh, why am I even doing this? Let's not even bother with that. Oh, look, a creepy guy in a cloak wandering around with a walking stick. That's Lucian. How you doing? He's not going to be the um, antagonist of an entire major quest series later on. And what's over here? Oh, wow. That's an entire walled-off city. There's a plague going on in there. You're not allowed to go in. It's all quarantined. That's not going to be the whole, the whole plot of another quest series all in itself either. There's seriously so much to this game. Okay, that's where we are. Uh, I'll show you the minimap later, but uh, these are all the quests in the game. <clears throat> Every single one of these names is just the title of yet another quest. <clears throat> um, yeah, this game has been being made since 2001. It's been around like 20-something years, and they just keep making content for it. There's different quests in the other version of the game, too. And, like, look at the mini-map. So we've been just wandering around this, this city. But if I zoom out, and I will address the uh, frame rate issues going forward as well. But look at that. All of these kingdoms, the swamps of Mauritania, the Caridian Desert. Oh, the island of Karamja. And there's just so much to <clears throat> see and do in this game. That's why it's so addictive. So many skills to train. So many places to see. People to meet. Um, this is an MMO, of course, but, uh, so 
there is a social aspect to the game. Uh, what I'm here in Ardoin for today is to steal repeatedly from this one poor baker guy. Sorry about it, but I gotta train my thieving, and your stall is right here, and it replenishes itself so fast. So yeah, I have level 14 thieving here, and if I steal from them enough times... Uh, I've skipped a little bit ahead for time here. Uh, there we go. Just got level 15. And that means that I can... Oh, look, I can pickpocket ham followers. That's going to become important in the quest series that I'm hoping to stream on uh, Sunday. I think I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, we're getting ready to do the uh, Lost Tribe quest series, the Dorgshin quest series, my favorite quest series in the entire game. That's why I'm getting my thieving level up. Um, and I just opened the first quest here and I realized there's a whole quest requirement. I need to do Goblin Diplomacy. Yeah, that'll be a fun way to focus our energies today. Let's go do, uh, Goblin Diplomacy, a quest that'll be required on this account before I can even start the, uh, the Dorgshin quest series. I'm gonna get the, uh, requirements for the first three quests in that series to work through on the stream uh, I have no idea how long that'll take me or if I'll get through all three, but I just wanted to be ready to have up to three quests to do. My favorite quest series in the game, I did it, um, I did all those quests when I was in, like, probably college and haven't gotten a chance to do them again because in order to do that you have to make a whole new account and get all the requirements again, but I've done that because I'm so excited to show these. But yeah, let's go do this other quest, this early 2001 quest from when this game was brand new um, that we're going to need as a prerequisite, so to speak. The only annoying thing is that it starts all the way like across the map over uh, in the Goblin Village, so we're going to have to go over the uh, White Wolf Mountain, but it should be fine. Oh god, oh it's not fine. Oh, I'm getting beat up. I'm getting absolutely ganked. I have five health points left. I'm going to die. I need to eat some of this cake I stole. Oh god, I forgot when you're a low-level player how hard it is to get over this map, how hard it is to navigate the point-and-click controls, and eat food, and I think I have auto-retaliate on, so it's bouncing me back towards the wolves. Well, that was embarrassing. I haven't had trouble getting across that mountain in a long time, but eventually I made the journey to the goblin village. Oh, and I've accidentally uh, punched this goblin in the face. Uh, I'm just going to finish murdering it while... Nobody look over here. Everything's fine. There's no altercation happening here. I really didn't mean to engage them in co in combat. Whoops, sorry. Hope uh, the goblin generals aren't mad that I just murdered one of their citizens in front of them on accident. Uh, hey, Bent knows what up. So I think I started this quest by accident earlier. That's why it's yellow. But I haven't done anything in it yet. So we're going to do this dumb quest where they're all bickering about what color armor to wear, and I have to dye a piece of goblin armor a bunch of different colors uh, in order to get them to stop fighting or whatever. Um, yeah, let's start this. Red armor best. No, it has to be green. Go away, human. We busy. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, they already told me that I need to get some orange armor here. Uh, first you get goblin armor, and then you dye it orange. Every Even a Silly human could be able to figure that one out. Wow, that's just rude. Uh, where do I got goblin armor? If I could speak English. Yeah, so they're in like crates and stuff. Yeah, in crates. Where do I get dye? I know I have to get go to Drainer Village for that. This is kind of a hunt and gather quest. Um, which were very popular in the early parts of the game. This is... Not as riveting as the quest series that we're going to do for the stream, I tell you right now. But we got to get this one done anyway. Anyway, they're still whining. Uh, do you know where I can get dye? Uh, me not know where dye come from. Uh, but where did you get your red and green dye from? Some goblin or other, he steal it. Some say he stole it from Old Witch and Drainer. Yeah, so I have to go all the way to there. Okay, so yes, I'm going to gather some goblin armor from the crate over here. If I could find the door this century. Oh, it's all one panel. Of, okay, there we go. <laughs> Search crate. Got it. Okay. So, just uh, off screen, I gathered the three goblin armors that I am going to need um, in order to finish this quest. Uh, do not at me for using a walkthrough on a novice quest, please. <laughs> I just don't want to go through all the 
uh, dialogue options to figure out what different dyes I need and what the ingredients are for them and then have to go scope them out. I'm just going to do it all in one fell sweep here. So I need onion for the yellow dye. I need to make all three colors of dyes. There's wheat here. Is that is that uh, onions? I think that's potatoes. Got to go find the onion. Oh, I remember it's out by, uh, by Lumbridge over here. Uh, yeah. Fred the farmer has some <laughs> in behind his little house here. Yeah, he's got some onions located right here next to his weird pen of a whole bunch of different uh, sheep. And then if you look out there, there's also one sheep that is actually two penguins uh, hiding in a sheep costume. Uh, that's definitely not going to become the plot of a whole entire quest series. Seriously, there is a lot going on in this game. But I've got my onions. Very necessary. Oh, I guess I should show you what I look like. Hi. Isn't this the grandest thing you've ever seen? 2007 graphics Graham wants to remind you to subscribe to this channel anyway <laughs> um right so now I need red berries oh those are all the way in Varrock so I've again cut oh and I gotta get through the druid circle here these guys can also mess you up pretty bad oh god oh god oh god oh. uh missed me okay nope that was relatively painless we got through um <laughs> again all the low level struggles that uh I forget about now on my regular main account that I've been playing literally since high school. Um, where are the bushes for the berries? I know they're somewhere around here. I, I Even farming for materials, I buy everything off the Grand Exchange now, uh, which is where you can just buy any item in the game that I forget how to just farm for materials where they actually are. But yeah, they're just here south of Varrock. I just picked three of them and now we're gonna get some woad leaves i could pay this gardener all the way out in falador for them but like falador is all the way over here like we're here falador is all the way over there i don't want to walk that far because i'm lazy i have 754 coins sometimes items can be a goofy price here at the grand exchange this is where i am now so that would be really embarrassing if i was such a noob that i couldn't even afford the ward the woad leaves i need for this quest let's see and there you search through their their item inventory their encyclopedic every item in the game list um going to buy these for a ridiculously high price just to make sure that i get them and don't waste too much time surely someone is selling them for that price yep got them right away and now i have all the ingredients for the dyes i have to go all the way down to drainer and of course there's some people hanging out here and fighting with each other because that's always what happens <laughs> uh yeah again it's an mmo so there's a social aspect to it people are always hanging out at the grand exchange and haggling on items and bickering <laughs> so we're back here in drainer with uh with uh aggie um gonna make us some not potions some dyes so we can dye these goblin armor and i have to make all three of them Okay, what do you need to make red dye? Do I have to go through all this dialogue every time? No, I think she has a... They've simplified over the years. They've given some uh, characters like some quick options for so we don't have to go through all that text. But we just made our red dye with the red berries. No, she doesn't. In the old school version, she does not have a quick dialogue. So we have to go through all of this. What color do you want? I want yellow this time. Okay, 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 yes, okay, yellow dye, there we go, yellow dye, um, oh, she's been doing a cute little animation this whole time, I feel bad, okay, I'll put it in frame this time, um, okay, okay, blue dye, blue dye, let's go, okay, all right, thank blue dye, runescape's very click intensive at times, just get ready for that, um, make some blue dye, please, give the wood leaves, see, look at that, cute little animation as she makes the dye, I have to mix the yellow and red to get orange dye, because they're gonna want orange armor in a second here, okay, and then, yeah, dye one of them blue and one of them orange, there's orange, see, look, orange goblin male, got some, some blue, goblin armor okay and then i'm gonna go back and pick up one more just regular colored goblin armor because that's gonna come important later and on to the rest of the quest i'm back in goblin village made the trip off screen um the generals are still bickering about what color of armor is best uh, calling each other stupid uh then why do you not like green armor because red armor better only stupid goblins think that and you're stupid 
Okay, well, I have the orange armor you asked for. <laughs> uh, ooh, cutscene! You get to watch a quest cutscene. Uh, Grubfoot! Yes, General Warface. Put on... Yeah, okay, so he's gonna put on the uh, orange... I think I gave him the orange first. Yeah. Look at that fashion show. Looks so good. What do you think? No, don't like that much. Clashes with skin color. <laughs> we need darker colors like blue. So this is why I went through that walkthrough. Because now I'd realize they want blue and I'd have to go through the whole rigmarole of going back to Drainer and getting all the ingredients and getting stuff dyed blue. But I already did that off screen. Uh, maybe to make them like blue more, I'll bury these bones of the their colleague that I inadvertently murdered earlier. Uh, me do not like orange armor. Me do not like this thing. Not like what thing? Uh, that fruit thing. That one, that orange. What it called? Are you referring to an orange? Uh, that's right. This armor makes me look same color as orange fruit. Shut up, Grubfoot. What? Oh, I didn't even have to have that conversation. That was just side dialogue. Okay, I'm going to go back to the <laughs> generals on this side of the room that are actually important to the quest. Uh, I tell all goblins in village to wear green armor now. They not listen to you. I already told them to wear red armor, so they're still fighting. Uh, they listen to me, not you. They know me, bigger general. No, me, bigger general. They listen to me. Human, what color are they wearing out there? Well, half of them are wearing red and half of them are wearing green. We're not getting anywhere with this. Uh, shut up, human. Uh, they wearing green armor. Okay, so they're just going on and on. More bickering. More fighting. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, I have the blue armor. That you've now requested for me also. Okay, so now we're going to watch the exact same cutscene a second time. Uh, it's much better the second time. You're going to love it. Uh, wait till you see it a third time. <laughs> He's going to put on his new blue armor that I lovingly made for him. Uh, what do you think? Uh, that not right. Not goblin color at all. Goblins wear earthy, dark colors like brown. Yeah, brown might be good. So brown was the color that they were wearing before all of this color shenanigans i thought brown was the color you were changing from oh never mind so yeah that's the whole twist of the quest that in the end they just want the regular brown armor um you're still bickering about colors yeah this is one of the first quests ever put into the game in 2001 so these are pretty rudimentary quests here uh grubfoot yes general warface you see isn't this a beautiful um cutscene the third time you have to see it anyway he's going to change back into the regular goblin armor and they're going to lose their minds about it what do you think that color quite nice me can see myself wearing that um all right thank you for settling our argument do you want your reward and we did it we just completed a quest Five quest points, which is an absolutely absurd amount of quest points for a rudimentary quest like that. They were still kind of figuring out all the values of that sort of stuff in the early days. I got 200 crafting XP. Ooh, and a single gold bar. Would you look at that? One gold bar. And uh, we've now completed all of the pre-requirements for the first quest in my favorite quest series in the game. Um, look at that. Quest complete. And we're going to go down to the Lost Tribe here which is the first quest in the Dorgshin quest series. There are technically five quests in that quest series. Um, there's only four that have been ported to the old school version of the game. And I don't even think we'll get to the fourth one. Um, I will definitely try to do those three. This is Pixelated Graham signing off. Uh, I'm going to do this stream uh, on Sunday this week. Sunday the 24th, that is, I believe. Uh, I'll do it at noon Pacific, which will be 3 Eastern, and I'll likely be out doing it for a couple hours. Um, I'm totally prepared to do this and have literally nobody watching. I have never done anything like this on my channel, but it was just a fun Veds idea. Um, but yeah, even if nobody's watching, I'm going to keep doing the uh, quests and then it'll stay up on my account in case anyone ever chooses to watch it. And I'll have some fun. So tune in. Noon, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific, uh, this coming Sunday. And uh going to stream some of this game from my childhood. Uh, see you there or not. <laughs> and I'll see my friends and fellow Bedsies tomorrow.